Once there were women who danced with snakes in ceremony, in sanctuaries, entering ecstasies that opened up the worlds. Women who danced into the heights and into the profundities of being. Women who journeyed with the drum, its heartbeat carrying them to the source of mystery to prophecy and insight, to bliss and transcendence, to communion with the divine, an inner knowing. Women who made ceremony with gongs and raised power with rattles, chanting, calling, shaking the rattles, the sistrum. These ancient medicine women knew the power of transformation, of shape-shifting into animal form, of communion with the spirits of the land, who were their helpers, their relatives, their spirit doubles. Birds came to their invocations, hovered over them, and they themselves soared as birds, their spirits taking flight, or rode into the skies on dragons and other shamanic steeds, traveling across the worlds. Who were these ancient female shamans? These dreamers, visionaries, and wise women why don't we know about them? This is a past we haven't been told about or shown. Countless legacies in the archaic rock art. A cultural record that has been disregarded. The medicine women with their sacred staves. Painted up and arrayed in ceremonial regalia. In headdresses and masks and the mirrors used for ceremony and divination and imparting realization. Female shamans who used fans to clear and cleanse, who showered blessings with bundles of herbs. The prophetic women, the seers, diviners, and casters of lots. The sibyls and oracles and those who communed with ancestors who traveled to the underworld to retrieve lost souls. The healers who removed pain and affliction. The curanderas and herbalists who brewed medicinal potions and elixirs, who loved the earth and waters, skies and fire. This is the wisdom we need now. The far vision, the depth and the goodness of the medicine